So what we're gonna be doing here, we're gonna have our favorite character return. Now she was taking a tour of the local farm and unfortunately she got a little whiff of the toxins that came off the meteorite. So she has turned into something a little bit different and not big granny, she's turned into just Hulk granny. So everybody meet Hulk granny. She looks absolutely crazy. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Tiny Town VR, and yes folks, we are back here in Doomsday City, and today we are ready for our next disaster. So, before we start our next disaster, which is going to take place here, and we're finally going to get to use something that we've never gotten to use before, and that's going to be the farm pack, but... Uh, real quick, over here, we've got the last episode, which was Robo Baldi versus the city here. So if you missed that episode, I'll flash it in the top right corner. I'm probably also going to flash a poll in the top right corner with some ideas that I have uh, for disasters. So if you like any of those, be sure to vote on those. But this idea was actually one of the top comments in the Baldi episode. And folks, we're finally going to be doing meteorites. And it's not going to be a normal meteorite they're gonna have a little bit of a dangerous secret in them. And there's gonna be a lot of people involved because uh, they might be making some people insane. But anyways, if you guys have any suggestions for Tiny Town episodes, comment below. And if you're enjoying Tiny Town on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's jump into this. All right, so this episode's gonna take place over by the Space Center and the Crash over here. And this is actually going to tie in a bit up here because this is something we actually started to work on, oh geez, probably like a month ago. As you can see up there, uh, those are some meteorites falling to the earth. Now, the meteorites are not normal. When they hit, they let out a gas and they make people insane, but not zombie insane. They make people insane as in lose their minds, maybe attack each other, and it's just going to be a weird situation that I got to think about how I'm going to do it. But first things first, I need to work on the ground here. We're going to add some grassland, and then we're going to jump into the farm packs. All right, so we're going to start working on some farm areas real quick. This is actually really cool looking. Like, they've got these dirt roads here. Uh, they got all sorts of fields, cabbage. Uh, that's a, a maze. It looks like a cornfield. Is, is a maze a crop? Uh, okay, let's throw that to the side. I think this should be uh, cornfields over here. So we'll go boom. Let's see if these will stack in real quick. And we're going to make some fields out here. And of course, this is where some of the meteorites are going to land. All right, so we got the fields over here. We're going to go ahead and start fence area for livestock. Maybe this is where one of the asteroids landed. I wanted to do it in the field, but I need an open area. Uh, that way I can have, like, maybe the FBI showing up, trying to contain what is going on. This is going to be pretty cool, actually. This is kind of like going to be doing zombies, except for they're not zombies. They're just crazy people. I don't know, what do you guys think? What could be releasing in the air that is driving everybody insane? Could it be Jake Paul's latest track? Nobody knows. This is actually really fun getting to use this stuff. There's a lot of cool stuff in this farm pack. All right, so I have a field ready to go here. So we need to go to the space pack real quick. And, oh, that's what I'm looking for right there. We got a meteorite. Ooh, that might be a little bit too big. Hold on, let's turn off snapping. This is going to be the crashed one. Of course, we'll still have more coming down from the sky. Well, this will be the one that impacted out here, so... Uh, that looks... That looks pretty good. Okay, so I need to add some of those little, uh, probably little spheres around it to make it look like an impact crater. Or these rocks might work, actually. Maybe we'll use those. Alright, that's looking pretty good right there. Now, question is, where did these meteors come from? Obviously from space, but were they sent here on purpose? That could be a good theory. I don't know. I'm kind of liking that. So, uh, obviously the farmer probably came out here first. So, we'll put his truck out here. The trucks are a little big. There we go. He's going to be driving out here. I need to get some people. So, obviously the police are going to be here. And maybe the military? I don't know if they've made it yet. Maybe we'll hold off on the military and just have the cops arriving. Alright, so we need a barn over here. Let's go ahead and pick us out a barn. Man, there's actually a lot of buildings in this. Uh, that's a good looking barn. Alright. 
I'm gonna put that over there. So the gate's gonna be over there. That's where the cops are setting. You can see the SWAT team's arriving, fire's arriving, ambulances are coming in, and the police are even blocking off the street here. You know, they think they're doing this. Maybe this was the first asteroid or meteorite, and they're gonna look up and see more coming in from the sky. That is cool. All right, let's get some people out here. We need a farmer. All right, so this is gonna be Farmer Bob. Farmer Bob is already infected. He is already going crazy, and he's actually gonna be running towards and attacking the cops here, because he's just lost his mind completely. So let's get us some cops out. You know, there's gotta be a more convenient way instead of switching back and forth between the packs. Maybe is there, there is an all, but I guess that might be the way we need to start doing this. That way I can find the people a little bit easier. But yeah, Farmer Bob's gonna be attacking this cop here. The cop's gonna be falling back. And the cop's partner's gonna be on the other side. All right, so here you go. The farmer's attacking the cop. The partner has no clue what's going on right now. Now, there has to be some sort of livestock in here. And you know what? The livestock's gonna be affected too. Maybe they're cows. And they have mad cow disease now. Ah, yes, moo cows. Oh, can I pose these? No, these just set here. So let's go ahead. Let's make a cow army here. Because I'm gonna need quite a few of them out here. There we go. Blah, 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 blah. Have you ever seen so many cows? I might have too many cows now. Well, let's toss a couple of these cows. There we go. All right, let's place some cows. Maybe they're going to be attacking people too. All right, so we got plenty of cows in here. We actually do have a bull. That's going to be the one that's going to be attacking. So let's go ahead. You know, he would probably attack anyways. I mean, it's a bull. But he's extra angry today. You know what? Maybe. And just maybe that gas that comes off those uh, meteorites actually changes people in different ways and just make them mad what if it made the bull super big oh buddy i really wish these animals were poseable but i can work with this i got an idea all right so super bull has broken out of his fence so you've got the fence he probably could have just stepped over it but he is a bull so yeah you can see he rammed a truck it's in the air right now so that's going to unleash all the other cows and no telling what type of powers they're going to get. Some might get big like the Super Bowl. Some might just go crazy. We don't know. All right. So that's pretty good for that initial scene. I need to add some more to the farm back here. Uh, we need farmhouses, more fields, farming equipment. There's a lot of equipment here. This is some good stuff, folks. Like, check that out. That's a cool looking tractor. It's even stuff like that just kind of sprinkled around that adds to the details of this little build. All right, so we're starting to do a farm area. So I've got the, uh, there's house over there. Of course, there's the barn. There's the uh, initial crash site. And I'm starting to do some fields over here. And we'll probably do some more grass areas. So I'm going to say that probably some of the, uh, the people that were initially affected by the uh, meteorite have gotten out. So maybe the farms in pure chaos are, look at this. Maybe we have big mutant ducks here. Oh, let's get a couple of these. Every farm has some ducks hanging around. These just seem to be assembling into like an army. All right, so we have Farmer Bill. Bob's over there, Bill's over here. And you know what? Bill, he's probably gonna be in very bad shape here in a moment. Uh, let's make it look like he's fallen over. He has gotten cornered by the chickens, the ducks, and all that in the farm. They've gone insane. They form the ranks, and they're here to take the revenge on Farmer Bill because they don't like to get eaten. And now they have some sort of a uh, some sort of powers now. That looks terrible. Oh, poor Bill. All right, so we need some other people. Maybe uh, we'll have one of the farm ladies over here. She's gonna be just taking off running. She is just like, oh, geez, this is crazy. So we'll stick her there. She's running away. People are going to be running down the road away from the farm because they know stuff is just going crazy right now. Plus, they're probably trying to find some shelter because of the, uh, the meteorites that are on the way. Alright, so we probably need to get some low meteorites here like they're about to make some impacts and we'll continue this area. This might be a several part series here depending on how much of this I can get done because I'm wanting to make this ultra detailed here. All right, so what I'm doing now, I'm adding meteorites that are falling from the sky. So let's get some of those. Maybe we'll do like a mega one here somewhere. So let's go. That's a pretty big one. That would make a pretty serious impact. So let's go boom. Uh, one's apparently in my head. 
Wait a minute. Maybe we can set things in motion here. If you guys remember the nuke from the Granny episode, maybe that was a meteorite impacting it. That's what destroyed the train which had the nuke on it. Huh. That might be a way to tie some of that together. Oh, geez, we are in the middle of something. Oh, I think we were... Oh, we might have been up Granny's butt. That's gross. All right, I need some more meteorites. All right, so this is the Mega Meteorite. This one's coming in. That one might be enough. Uh, if it's traveling fast enough, once the impact happens in the city, that could be it. Oh, boy. All right, so we need to add some sort of, like, streamer trails to some of these, like the little fire trails. Uh, it's gonna need to be pretty big to fit on that one, huh? Let's go up uh, a little bit bigger, and let's go up, just stick it in there. There we go. Ah, oh, that does look pretty cool, huh? What's this like? Okay, we're gonna get a scale of, of how big that meteor is. So if we're down here in the city, just standing here. Oh, geez, I just moved the bridge. Uh, nope, just moved it again. Get over here. There we go. Oh, no. That thing is gonna take out the whole city. That is insane looking. And then all the chaos that's going on around. I love this build. Alright, so I'm working on expanding this. So there is a train line that runs through the middle of the farm. We might be able to do something with that. Of course, we had the train crash over there. Uh, but this is continuing through uh, from the yard. So let's go ahead and put these here. I'm going to make a couple more fields over here. And then we'll do another farmhouse, I think. Maybe we'll do a farmhouse that's actually getting hit. Alright, so as the meteorites fall, I might be able to use a building from the zombie pack here. They have some blown out buildings, which I need to find the right one that doesn't look like it's overgrown. It just looks like it's charred. Uh, I know we've got one around here somewhere. So there's one. Maybe that could be one of the buildings that's attached to this little farm building over here. Alright, so let me get that and let me get a normal farm building real quick. And we're going to do a bit of an explosion over here. All right, here we go. This thing's gonna be all right. Let's turn off snapping. This is gonna be weird to make look right So it really impacted the side house over here, but it's still kind of going through the ground There'll be an explosion around this and I think pretty much this thing's gonna be engulfed in flames I just got to try to make it look natural Which is a little bit easier said than done here in tiny town. All right, so we have a meteorite explosion here You can kind of see parts of the building that are still there but this thing is just blowing up. It's probably going to be blowing this building out. Or probably this way since all the meteors seem to be falling down at this angle. So, guess what? Some people just escaped in time. So, I'm going to have a couple people like running out of the building here. Uh, we'll get a couple sets of the farmers here. Uh, just getting out of here. Alright, there go these farmers. They're running out. Trying to get away from it. Their car has been obliterated. So, it's flying through the air. Uh, the bulls down the street... So I need to stick some more vehicles just in the uh, street in general to make this area look a bit busier. There we go. So I made this area look a little bit busier, added some details. We have some cars now going up and down the street. So you got the meteorite impact there. So we're going to travel down. Hold on, zoom out. We need to wrap up this area over here uh, by the farm. But I think we're making some pretty good progress. But I'm definitely not going to be able to finish this one today. Because uh, there's just too much involved right now. Plus, I want to see the feedback from you guys and what you think we should add into this scene. Alright, so I've added another little farmhouse area here. This is actually behind the, uh, the front farm. So, what we're going to be doing here, we're going to have our favorite character return. Now, she was taking a tour of the local farm and unfortunately she got a little whiff of the toxins that came off the meteorite. So, she has turned into something a little bit different and not Big Granny. She's turned into just Hulk Granny. So everybody, meet Hulk Granny. She looks absolutely crazy. She's big, she's buff, she's holding farmers. She tossed one into a window over here. And yes, she's also now the leader of the pig army. All hail Hulk Granny. Oh boy, she's not too oblivious anymore, folks. She's angry. All right, so what I'm doing here, I'm gonna add some uh, more touches to this area. Just really, just people, uh, running away from the farm areas. I'll probably have a car crash over here too. Say some people uh, going away from the uh, farms were in panic and they actually crashed their vehicles. So let's go ahead and make that real quick. Now these two folks are fighting over the car crash, but I'm pretty sure they would just would have been fighting in the first place. Maybe the, uh, the teenager looking dude probably cut them off. 
That might not be due to the toxins here. So we got that. We got more people running away here. There's Hulk Granny. I still need to fill out this area. I'm going to do a lot of this off camera as far as some of these fields because it's kind of boring to do. But I think overall, we got a lot of detail in here today. Uh, the one last thing I want to work on, I want to work on some of the, uh, the law enforcement and the fire department up here. And maybe some of the people that would have been getting out of these cars uh, responding to this incident. And the whole fact that some of them are going crazy now. Alright, so we've added a bit of chaos to this scene. You got SWAT officers running away. These two SWAT officers are crazy right now. And they're actually playing tug of war over a gun right now. You got this police officer. He's jumping off the top rope to give this cop an elbow. And then you got the firefighters down here arguing and punching each other. Because everybody's just going insane in this area right now. Uh, let's zoom out here real quick. You know, I feel like we got a good bit done here today. It's quite a bit of detail, a little more than I normally do because I actually got in there and kind of started touching up and did a little less busy stuff here. So we will be having a part two to this. I want to hear your guys' theories as to what's happening here. I want to thank you guys for all the love and support on the Tiny Town series. Uh, these are absolutely fun to do, even though I don't get to do them as much as I would like. But still, these things are awesome. Comment below with suggestions, and we will see you guys next time in Tiny Town. Thank you.